Hey, what's up everybody? Bubba Zanetti here. I'm back on the KLX 300 SM. I don't know if you guys can pick that up, but <clears throat> there's a little bit of a gurgle. And that is intentional because I modded the snorkel with a wider snorkel from KDX. Um, so I removed the stock snorkel, aka the air duct inlet, and as a result, it's pulling in more air, and it's actually, there's a, there's a little bit of a difference in power. Not much at all, but in first gear, it revs a little bit, revs a little more, which is which is awesome. So far, so good. At first, I thought the gurgle was going to bother me, but the performance trumps the sound. Again, it's not a huge difference in performance, but it's noticeable. I do recommend this mod for sure. Now I don't have an exhaust on here. I don't have, I mean, I don't have a slip on, an aftermarket slip on right now, but that is going to be installed at some point in the near future. Most likely going with the Delkovic slip-on. And once I get that done, that would be considered a stage one mod. Whereas I would probably need to invest in a EJK in order to modulate the fuel, the air fuel consumption so it doesn't run too lean I think it is it's, I'm not sure if it's too rich or too lean if you let more air flow in but right now it's acting pretty good so if you guys are considering modding the KLX 300 Supermoto and the KDX snorkel is on your list you are not going to go wrong prior to installing the snorkel the new snorkel I went ahead and removed the snorkel entirely to see how it rides and I just don't like the gurgling sound it's like way more prominent when you don't have a snorkel in at all there's just too much air flowing in and the sound is highly noticeable whereas with the KDX snorkel you get a little bit of a gurgle but it's not disheartening at all not at all I've been meaning to do some practice drills again I was gonna take the cones with me today but I just decided to take a ride and just relax because it's nice to just ride so I don't think you guys can pick that up but the gurgling sound is there due to more air being pulled in the 
performance is better. Uh, again, in first beer, in first beer, I'm thinking about beer. In first gear, it definitely pulls a little bit more than it did with the stock snorkel. So yes, it is a bit livelier and that is not psychosomatic. It is not all in my head. There is a difference. So I just wanted to make this short video on the new mod and I'm satisfied with it so far. Definitely recommend changing out the snorkel to a wider snorkel. I'll leave the product description in the link below. This way in case you're thinking about getting one you know which part to get. I also ordered a couple of other things like a K&N air filter so I'm waiting for that to come in and I've got turn signals that I'm waiting on as well and I've got a mirror one yes a mirror singular that I'm gonna install right here if you guys have noticed I removed my mirrors the bike just looks cleaner it looks sleek so yeah I'm really satisfied with the KLX 300 SM the bike is a bit asleep when you first if you buy it off the showroom floor the bike is has to be broken in. It's a little sleepy to begin with, but I assure you, once you break it in, the bike comes alive, especially when you mod it a bit. For sure. This bike just confirms the fact that Having a 300 is just as fun as having a bigger CC bike, for sure. As you guys know, I came off of a Speed Twin 1200 CC. And even though that was a sweet bike, it was a Triumph, I'm having way more fun on this bike, honestly. Way more fun than I ever had on the uh, on the Speed Twin. Now, as far as horsepower gains because of the snorkel mod, I don't think there's really any gains, honestly. But you definitely can tell a little difference and power it's essentially just letting air more, more air flow in so it's a good thing it's a really good thing it it adds to the fun factor for sure i gotta say this box this bike stock is not bad at all if you don't change anything on it it is not a bad bike at all after it breaks in it does come alive but even more so when you add mods, when you add parts to it. In any case, let me know in the comments below if you've recently picked up a KLX 300 SM and what your experience on it is so far. Do you notice a difference after breaking it in a few hundred miles? Have you done any mods? recommendations and or suggestions the bike just keeps getting better guys it really does 